it's good to be generous, even if you have nothing, you know? If you had, like, only 50 cents in your pocket, you'd, like, give it away to the day laborer and contribute to his beer at lunchtime, you know? This type of shit. Whatever it is, you'd buy something for somebody, even though you had nothing. If it was whatever it was, you never leave, like, nickels or dimes in that little black thing by the register. You're, like, so cheap. You'd never buy anybody anything. It's kind of funny. You know, if you want to make money, you got to be generous. you got to give shit out. When you see a waitress, even if she sucks, she'd leave her extra money. And somehow, in your job, you'll get, like, a bonus. Or your wife will blow you harder or whatever it is. What I'm telling you is that everything balances out. you got to be, like, giving... Every I give up my blood, motherfucker. So I'm telling you know, you donate blood, this type of thing. You spill your blood into the earth with your wife that you intend to bring forth heaven and earth. In the name of Halil, the goddess of death, you will join me in blood publicly or die. I'm Satan himself, you little fuck. You have no blood to spill. You're already dead, legally. A monster. You have no right to any land. You're a little cockroach. It's the ash trailing light coming out of the black hole sun. And everybody only focuses on total shit and lies, the space station and all that. It's all fake. Everything's fake. There's a dome up there. The Earth is not floating through space as an accident. You're not made from monkeys. Everything you think you know to be true is the reverse of truth. The devil already has your soul in the Vatican, and your parents gave it up willingly. Now you're lost at sea. You're officially dead. By legal definition, you're a monster with no inheritable blood. You don't have to like it, but you're living the game agony right now. So you see this... Our God's Wear Spandex. Kirk Jones just sent me this. Thank you, Kirk. And it's funny how all these superheroes couldn't bring forth heaven on earth. Because they're all a bunch of little retarded fucking pussies. Everybody's lost at sea and officially dead. And the devil has your soul in the Vatican. You're legally dead. You gave up the land. You gave up your soul. You gave up everything. You think you're on a ball floating through space as an accident. And uh, I have the fucking Holy Spear. I know where the fucking Holy Grail is, and I'm going to get everybody eternal life, whether you like it or not. I'm a fucking superhero. So Multi Melissa 5 sent me this clip that you made, and you see the exit hole out of here, where every compass points to. This is where the Aurora Borealis comes out. You see the lights around there showing you that the sun goes round and round and round. Just like your Christmas lights. There's no way to escape it, like the rainbow, raw. Okay, goes round and round. The candy cane goes in. This is... The key, there's no way to escape it. That's the shape of a key. It's the door out. It's the exit hole out of here. And I can see it on everything. I'm sure you do also. Is uh, It's literally on everything. So they rub this shit in your face. There's no way to fuck it up, people. Thank you, Multi Melissa 5, for letting me steal your clip. I appreciate that. So you see here, Lucifer is the goddess of the black sun, which is truly the great dragon Typhon the mother of all creation, end of humanity. And as crazy as that sounds, you know, you close your eyes, you make a wish, you focus on the black sun, you bow your head in prayer to the black sun, you throw your coin into the wishing well for the black sun. You know, you went to school, you graduated, you put your black satanic robe on and your motorboard hat. You went to grammar school to learn your book of the dead. Every word you speak is a magic spell. You learned spell casting in school. You took your test with your number two shit pencil. You go to church, you sit in a pew. It's because you're focusing your intent onto the black hole sun where the ash trailing jet comes shooting out of the infinite potential, the earth's memory, Lucifer, the goddess of the earth. It doesn't matter what religion you think you are, or where you come from. Everybody has a birthday party with the candle and all that shit. And they blow it out and focus their intent onto the black sun. You know... It's just crazy how blind people are, but it is what it is, people. You're about as filthy, satanic, luciferian as they come, and you just don't see it. But it is what it is. 1999. The video game is Siphon Filter. You see, they rub it in your face, the flat earth with the exit hole. Every compass is pointing to the center of the dish where the green astral jet shoots out, hits the parabolic mirror, and showers down on you. This is the holy grail. The exit out of the matrix, where you drink from the living waters and pass into the land of perpetual twilight, the Garden of Eden. You're not on a ball floating through space as an accident. And 
You're lost at sea and officially dead. And this world is mine. You don't have to like it. And see, the holy hole's been blocked off from you. You're like an aborted baby fetus. You need to get to the Holy Grail before you're dead. You've been locked up here in the land of the dead. So you hear this Prince of Darkness. He's going to bring forth the end of days. And that's good. That's where we drink from the living waters at the center of the flat earth plane. And we get eternal light. And we stop counting off our days. When we pass into the land of perpetual twilight, where there is no night and day, it's perpetual twilight, and we stop counting off our days. Time is going the opposite direction for us, because we drank from the eternal waters, and we got to be superhuman beings. It's right there at the poles, where the blend is, where every compass points to. Your north side of your compass is seeking a south pole. So this is the blend. We need to get to the Holy of Holies at the very center where the North Star, that's the polar star. It's showing you all the stars are spinning around there. The Earth is fixed or there'd be a parallax between the stars every couple of years. There's no way to fuck this up. The gyroscope proves it. If you run a spinning ball, it just nothing makes sense on a spinning ball. You would have to be filthy retarded. So I'm the Prince of Darkness. I bring forth the end of days and... That's where we drink from the living waters and we stop counting off our days. Where we pass into the land of perpetual twilight and there is no more night and day because there is no night and day. It's perpetual twilight. You'd have to be a filthy fucking retard not to see it. So I'm proud to be the prince of darkness. I put up gallons of fucking blood for this post and you don't have to like it. You need to come with me if you want to live. So maybe a few times a day you hear somebody sneeze, you say... Bless you, God bless you. And what you don't realize is that this whole concept, you know, the Pope blessing people, and you'll see that when the Pope blesses people, they die. That's be less, is what you're saying. Be less you. And what I'm telling you is that everything you think you know to be true is the reverse of truth. The Bible itself is a weapon. Someone pointed out in that movie, Eli, that they rub it in your face, it's a weapon. It's a fucking weapon. You don't have to like it. So, it's clear. The Jesus freaks out there are so far behind on reality, it's not even funny. Jesus is the sun, and the sun is conscious. And until you look at the sun and speak your intent, like, I intend to bring forth heaven upon your earth, give me the knowledge of the ages so I can carry this to fruition, you know, you're so far behind on reality, you can't even see it. So, I'm telling you right now, Jesus is not coming back to save you, okay? I am the fucking Antichrist himself in the flesh telling you that Jesus is the Son and the Son is conscious. I have the Holy Spirit. I'm going to the Holy Grail. And I'm taking anybody who has their blood beside my own with me. I recommend you type into your computer, blood over intent. And scroll down, you'll see all of us spilling up our blood to bring forth heaven and earth. And if your blood's not beside my own, you won't be coming with me to the Holy Grail. You'll be on your own. And you won't cross the frost bridge blood thicker than water. You won't even find it because you're filthy fucking retarded. I have the Holy Spirit. You don't have to like it.